Now that you're at this step, this is when you're going to start mixing your paint. You need to make sure, first of all, that your paint is well, um, well stirred. If you don't stir your paint up before, you'll get an uneven color. Possibly the, you know, if it's Rust-Oleum, this stuff stays on the shelf for a long time. So make sure you mix it up because some of those colors can start to settle to the bottom. Some of the chemicals that's in it can start settling to the bottom. Make sure you stir that real good. I usually give it about maybe 30 seconds to a minute. Once you're done stirring it, you grab your, your uh, cup here, and you'll notice on uh, if you buy these type of cups, they're numbered on the side. Each one of these numbers represents a part. So my formula for uh, Rust-Oleum that I've used and has worked because I've tried every single thing before with this, uh, including with this enamel hardener here, is five parts Rust-Oleum. Two parts acetone and 0.3, yes, 0.3, a third of a part of enamel hardener. So what you're going to do to start off with, so watch your numbers here. You're going to pour in to the number five. All right, that's close enough. You're going to pour in acetone, two more parts, so all the way to seven. And then a third of a part of this enamel hardener. Make sure to wear your mask when you're doing this. Uh, for instructional purposes, I'm not wearing a face mask because i got to talk and you can't hear me if I have a face mask on. So, 0.3 of this hardener here. All right. And make sure your mixing stick doesn't have too much paint on it because that's that can offset your ratio. So now start mixing that up the lid back on your paint. All this has to get stirred up. And I'm shooting semi-gloss today, so if it's not as shiny, it's like, oh, you know, that, you know, method doesn't work, it doesn't come out shiny. Well, that's the reason, because I'm shooting semi-gloss. It's not going to come out completely. Awesome. Alright, so that's well mixed. Now we're going to move on to uh, tack ragging and painting.